Hi, I'm Ahmed Abu Artema, a Palestinian writer and activist from Gaza. Uh, I was targeted by the Israeli war plane on the morning of October 24th when I was sitting with my children in the living room of the house of my family at that Israeli bombardment. Uh, my child Abdullah was killed, he is 12 years old, and my uh, niece Jude, uh, 9 years old, also she was killed, and uh, four women of my family were killed in the same Israeli attack. The house was destroyed, and I was injured and my other children were injured. My personal story is just one story of thousands of the stories of the people in Gaza. From October 7th, Israel declared that it's targeting everything in Gaza. The Israeli War Ministry of Gallant declared cutting off supplies, food, fuel, and everything on Gaza Strip. In Gaza Strip, there are 2.3 million residents. The vast majority of them are children and women. Israel is claiming that it's fighting Hamas. But the reality shows that Israel is lying, as usual. The vast majority of the victims, the Palestinian victims, are children and innocent women and men. Israel has killed 5.5 thousand children so far. And killed whole families, destroyed thousands of the houses of the civilians, destroyed whole neighborhoods. Israel changed the features of Gaza Strip. Israel is still cutting off everything. It's clearly a war of genocide. Some people may think that the problem started with the Palestinian resistance attack on October 7th. But the fact that this is the nature of Israel from the first day of its creation in Palestine. We know that Israel, before its establishment, it committed horrible massacres and displaced by force the Palestinian people, they became refugees, including my own family. And after that, it paved the, uh, 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 the way to create its state, what's called the State of Israel. Israel didn't stop its massacres, its crimes against the Palestinians since 76 years. So the essence of the problem that the Israeli colonization, Israel is still denying the Palestinian existence. The Israeli problem is not with Hamas as it claims, it's a problem with the Palestinian existence itself. And if anyone wants to make sure about this, he has to take a look to the statistics of the Palestinian losses and the Palestinian victims. The vast majority of the Palestinian losses, the vast majority of the Israeli targets are the civilians, the Palestinian civilians. 
why Israel is continuing massacre, massacring the Palestinians? Why Israel killed so far 5.5 thousand Palestinian children? Simply because Israel feels impunity, because Israel think it will not hold to the accountability because Israel is completely backed by the United States administration and the Western governments. So we are not under the Israeli attack only. We are under the Israeli and the American attack. What's happening now in Gaza is an Israeli attempt to complete the Nakba, which it started in 1948. Israel thinks that it was wrong when it keep the Palestinian people in their land. So it's very, very clear now that Israel is working seriously to displace the Palestinians from their lands. Israel deprived the north of the Gaza Strip completely from everything, from the water, from the uh, uh, ambulances, from the uh, fuel, from everything. And also, sure, in, in the, the, the south of Gaza Strip, but it's more clear in the north of Gaza Strip. Israel is targeting the hospitals. Israel is targeting the mosques and the churches. Israel pushed the people, the Palestinian people, to convince that, convince that there is no single one place is safe in Gaza Strip. Why? Because Israel is pushing the people to leave their lands. The people are facing this Israeli genocide by Sumud, by their resilience in their land. But we cannot face this horrible Israeli and American genocide campaign alone. So please, this is our call. This is the call of all the Palestinians, the Palestinian families. This is the call of 5.5 thousand Palestinian children were killed, including my son Abdullah. This is our call to all the free people across the world. Please stop this genocide campaign. It's horrible that the world is continuing allowing to a state which is based on ethnic cleansing, on apartheid, on massacres to continue in the 21st century. This is our call that Israel is violating the human rights, is violating the international law. So it's our call to you that to stand in the right side of the history and to stand with the oppressed people, with the victims, and say loudly no to the regimes which is based on the ethnically cleansing and on the massacres. Thank you.